Hi guys, and welcome to Amnesia Memories. This is going to be the final series that I do within this series, since we have completed every world except for the world that we just unlocked, and that's Joker World. This is going to be Ukyo's story. He's the mysterious man that has appeared in all of the previous routes, and he is the true story and true end to this series, so I hope you guys are excited to see how it all unfolds. So without further ado, let's get started with Joker World. Ah, uh, Kayla, are you awake? How do you feel? Does it hurt anywhere? Can you see me? Oh, Ryan. Oh, good. You still remembered what we talked about in Between Worlds. And you look like you're fine. <sighs> I'm relieved. For now, at least. Alright, enough fooling around. I'll just tell you again. My name is Orion. You remember, right? I'm gonna be your spirit partner from now on, so let's get going. Now then, we were gonna talk about your family first, right? Hearing information from your family would fill in the blanks in your memories. But the only problem is... It looks like you live here in this place all by yourself. You see, while you were sleeping, I took a look around. Looks to me like your place is a studio apartment. Nice lighting, large storage space, separate bathroom, indoor laundry, and the building's not too old. There's an intercom with a monitor, and from this button here, I'd say your apartment unit has its own auto lock and code. Looks like the security's pretty good. <laughs> Just judging from your appearance, you seem to be of either high school or college age. The problem is that you have no relatives nearby to talk to. I don't know if you're just living alone for now, or if you're all alone in this world. Hey, how does it feel when you look around your room? Can you remember anything? I can't remember anything. I see. I guess it couldn't really be that easy. You were sleeping alone with pajamas on, so it's pretty clear that you're in your own apartment and that this is your room. For now, why don't you look around the room? Like, in your drawers and stuff. I can't touch the human world, so I haven't been able to check in there. What I was able to figure out by looking around was that you live alone and that it's sometime in August. See? Your calendar's at August right now. For August, the weather's actually pretty nice. Anyway, see if you can search your room for any clues. Okay, and we've done this part before so we know it's in the bag. Hey! There's your school ID! Alright, this should tell us a lot of information. Hmm... It looks like your name was exactly as you remembered it after all. Also, you're a college student, first year psychology major. Your school's address is here too. Looks like you'll be able to keep going to school for now. Hmm, wait, it's August right now. Isn't it summer break then? Huh? Even though I'm a spirit, I seem to know a lot about when schools are on break. <laughs> I'm actually pretty knowledgeable about human life, aren't I? Wait, that means... We're so lucky! You're free during this month! We might get your memories back before you're exposed to other people's cruelty and greed. Meaning more people might help you remember, but it'd also be easier to get tricked, so... It's really lucky that you can move around during summer break like this. Let's shoot for the end of the month. Yes, let's hurry. I'll do my best to help. Let's go for it. Alright then, let's see... Oh, I spy a cell phone. This is it, the ultimate source of info. Let's check what's in it. You might remember something from your phone history. Right, let's hurry and look. I hope there's clear names in there like mom or dad or my friend. Oh, new info already. Looks like today's actually August 1st, see? It's displayed on the screen. All right, we have an entire month of summer break. August 1st. All right, now let's check out your contact list. Let's see if there are any numbers that look like they might be your family. If that doesn't work, then you can check your message history to find people you may be close to. Whoa, you're fast! Is that your cell? So your message history says, Sawa, Iki, Mine, Kent, Mine, Shin, Rika, Sawa, Mine, Toma, Toma, Shin, Shin, Kent, Rika, 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 Iki, Sawa, Iki, Dad, Sawa, Shin, Kent, Sawa. <laughs> Whoa, there's a lot, and you've been messaging each of them a similar amount of times. But I guess that's natural. I suppose the average person would be texting this many people, unless you were more of a loner type. It actually would have been easier if you didn't have this many friends, and you only had like one person in your contact list. I think it's pretty hard finding someone you can trust amongst these guys. It looks like you have a message from your father, but let's not contact him just yet. It's nice that you were able to confirm that you had 
had some kind of family, but it could be risky to head in that direction immediately. I'm sure you can imagine why, <laughs> blah blah blah, you know? You don't, huh? If you did understand from just that, I'd be really impressed with your deductive skills. What? You got it? Seriously? It's because I'd be limited, right? You're right! You're right! But that's creepy. How did you know? Well, I'm gonna explain to you just in case. If your family gets worried and they take you to a hospital, you could be restrained there, and it would be bad news. If you're in an environment without any stimuli, you wouldn't have any triggers to recover your memory. But anyways, the wrong people finding out you have amnesia wouldn't be beneficial for you at all. And if you are to tell anyone at all, you must absolutely and completely 100% trust them. So? With that being said, there's no use for us to just hang out inside, so I think it would be better for us to go around. But I don't think it'd be too smart to just walk around aimlessly either. Oh, I know! I wonder if it says anything in your schedule. Let's take a look. It says that from July to September, you're on break. It's currently August 1st, so you're right in the middle of your summer break. Hmm, you want to try going to your school? You might find something out, and I'm thinking college during summer breaks are mostly empty, right? If there's an issue, we can just head back immediately. So let's go! So this is your college. I'm so glad we didn't get lost. It's a good thing there are plenty of signs that pointed you to the right university. So now, we only know our way to and from school. Hey, one thing. I've been curious this whole time, but it is August, right? Don't you think it's rather chilly for a midsummer day? The temperature feels like it's the beginning of autumn. I hope this gets explained in this route because every single time he mentions how cold it is for August. Strange. Everyone around us is wearing long sleeve shirts. I wonder if this is abnormal weather. Anyways, now that we're here, what do you think? Did you remember anything? I guess it might be too soon, unless something intense happened to you at the school gates that trigger a memory or something. Like a dance battle, or a puppet show, or some like crazy love scene. Something weird with that kind of impact. Although, that may be kind of suspicious of you. Anyways, let's try going inside. If you bump into a friend, let's just play it cool and try to get information. Long time no see. Huh? Who is this? It's Ukyo! <gasps> We're having a memory. Is this person someone you know? Kayla? 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 What's the matter? You're acting really weird. Hey, did you remember something? I guess not. Even if they were fragments of a memory, they should affect me too, right? What's the matter? You seem out of it. Mm, don't tell me you don't know me. I don't. Hey, what did I tell you about being honest about things like that? What? I see. So you don't know me. I wonder if we haven't met yet. No, that shouldn't be the case. Or did she forget? What? What does he mean? I think you and I met. Ah, uh, never mind, sorry. Seems like I'm confused too. But I'm glad I was able to see you again. Yeah, I'm really, really happy that I bumped into you like this. Huh? I wonder if you met him a long time ago? Or you haven't seen him since or something? Man, this is really not appropriate timing to reunite with someone like that. Seems like you were on your way to school, but you shouldn't go. You shouldn't step foot on campus today. What? You really can't go in today, and also not on August 25th. Preferably try to avoid the campus all through August, actually. You might think I'm weird for just saying this out of the blue, but I really want you to trust me on this. If you could just trust in what I say, will you listen to exactly what I tell you? Um, okay. Oh, good. Thank you. I'll see you around then. Be really careful, okay? Hmm, weird. He left. What's up with him? I wonder what he wanted to say. If he'd stayed, he could have told us about how we met our current relationship or recent events or something. I feel like we've obtained information, but it's just not enough. Whatever, what should we do now? Kayla, when you stand in front of the school gate like that, you're really in the way. What? A second person right off the bat? They're gonna start construction on campus today. If you have business here, you should really hurry. He left, just like that. I wonder who he was. Good thing we didn't get an awkward conversation, but he could have at least said his name. That was Kento. If you guys watch any of the routes from this series, I really recommend Kent's. Hey, wait a minute. What, not another person? Oh, Kayla, what are you doing here? I thought you had a shift today. I know you've been pretty into work lately. Oh, sorry, I'm in a rush. I'll talk to you later. 
Hey, Kent! Wait, I have a question about the report from the other day. Hey! Sawa, don't just yell at my name like that. In regards to your report, I've explained it to you thoroughly. But I didn't get it! I need you to explain it again! That is a waste of my time and yours. But please... Uh... So right now, that tall glasses dude is Kent and that girl is Sawa, I think. There was a Kent and a Sawa on your phone, right? So I guess you work too. I wonder what kind of job it is. And about that weird nonsensical guy was saying, what do you think? Should we go inside the campus? I'll pass. He told us not to go, right? You're right, that might be better. I didn't really get what he meant, but it's best just to stay on the safe side. Better safe than sorry. It's not like we really had to go to school today, so why don't we just skip it? Ah, that said, the little handy-dandy information rundown that you just got. I won't be doing this every time, I don't have the energy. But anyways, what we found out today was who Sawa and Kent were from your phone. Those two are your university friends. I can't tell if they're friends or just acquaintances yet. But that Kent guy seemed a little bit older than you. Hmm, I wonder if he's a friend. And that one peculiar guy. We couldn't get a name out of him. I mean, it's hard to even gauge whether or not he's a friend. He was saying something like you might have forgotten him. That means you've met once before. Maybe you just met him really briefly once and you haven't had any contact with him lately or since that first time. If you think about it, that sounds very convenient. I mean, that man doesn't know your typical behavior or how it differs from how you've been acting lately. But you know him enough to carry a conversation. And if you're not your usual self, he wouldn't think that it's unnatural. But those kooky warnings, I wonder if he's like fortune telling or if he's like into astrology or something. If he said he was a fortune teller, I wouldn't be surprised, given the way that he dresses. Either way, it's odd, isn't it? The way everyone dresses in this game is odd. Well, anyways, if we could just find out who he is. If he isn't a bad person, he might actually be the easiest and safest person to talk to. Having said that, let's investigate the Stranger Strange. We'll start in your planner and cell phone to see if we can find his contact information. Let's be serious about this. Maybe we can find a letter or a journal. He might be your pen pal or journal buddy or something like that. Alright, let's start our second search. Two hours later. <sighs> Why? Why do you not have anything in your whole apartment? There is no information here. Useless, absolutely useless. Couldn't you have like a relationship chart on the wall? Or like an autobiography in the making? Or a book of your favorite quotes? <laughs> what do you think? Do you think you can trust that man? I think we can trust him. I see, hmm. How can you trust someone like that so easily? Is what I want to say. But maybe that gut reaction may be important. Without any memories, it's all about intuition. I was so focused on this search that I didn't realize it's already nighttime. I guess that's it for today. Kayla, we'll try again tomorrow, okay? August 2nd. It's morning! Morning, are you awake? Sorry for waking you. You see, your cell phone has been blinking since a little while ago. I think you got something. Hmm, let's see. I don't think it's a text. Seems to be a voicemail. Let's listen to it. Morning! Today is our monthly meeting, right? I can head over to see you soon, so let's go together. Mimi said that she'll go with us, too. If you can't, give me a call. I'll be there around 9, okay? Later. 9? Hey, what time is it? It's 8.57. Sawa and Ermine, was it? I guess they're coming over, so let's hurry up and get ready. Judging from her message, I think she's talking about work, but let's save the decision of going or not for later. We'll have to go eventually, so we might as well go today, right? Just hurry. Two and a half minutes later. That was quick. Wow, you're done with 30 seconds to spare. You're pretty good. I think it's pure talent being able to leave the house 2 minutes and 30 seconds after waking up. But what should we do? Are we supposed to take something with us to work? <gasps> They're here! Forget it. If we forget something, then we can just say we forgot. Let's go! Morning! Good morning. Ah, so this is Mine. She seems a little younger. Is she a coworker? She seems to be an ordinary friend, so I don't think you have to be all formal. But be sure not to say anything too out of the ordinary. I know you didn't reply, but we just decided to come over anyways. I hope that's okay. Hey, were you sleeping? Until about three minutes ago. <laughs> three minutes ago? Seriously? You're cutting it a bit close, no? I mean, I have to drag myself around for 30 minutes before I can even wake up. Sawa, you might have low blood pressure, and that sort of seems inconsistent with the amount of energy that you have. I mean, you just called me this morning and said let's go together. Totally surprised me. <laughs> Why not? I thought it'd be nice. Girls reporting to work together sometimes. You're just scared of manager, Sawa. 
What? No way. Liar, I know you made a mistake when a customer asked for a Kilimanjaro yesterday. Hey, you didn't tell the manager, did you? I didn't, but I think he knows. I mean, that's who he is. No, I, I don't want to go. Why don't we all take today off? Yeah, let's do that. I'm not going to do that. Come on, let's just go. Kayla. Ah, uh, you meanie. I know young ones these days are all about the money, but there's more to life than just money. I believe this. Wow, seems like among the three of you, the conversations will keep going even if you don't speak at all. I guess that's easy. Come on, Kayla, Meanie's gonna leave us behind, that reckless youngin. <laughs> and no, you're the one that's reckless, Sawa. Crap, they're gonna leave us behind, let's go. This cafe's name is Meiro no Hitsuji. I don't really know what kind of place this is, but it does seem like a cafe to you, right? And... <sighs> I'm so depressed, Meanie, help me. Cheer me up with all your might. Forget it, just be depressed for now, and you'll find some way to cheer yourself up eventually. Judging from your uniform, well, it's hard to judge, but it looks like you're a waitress. So, morning you three. I'm surprised you aren't tardy today. Well, who would be late for the monthly meeting, especially with a manager like that? Oh my god, Kent works here too? I don't think I've ever seen a rat where he does. Actually, at last month's meeting, Sawa was about 10 minutes late. Yeah, the work meeting almost ended up being a punishment meeting. Well, I guess that could have been entertaining. Oh my gosh, who is who here? I mean, we did come to obtain information, and this is what we wanted, but there are too many people. I don't know half of their names. It's my first part-time job, and I'm already confused. Seconds in, what should I do? Good thing you don't have to do anything, Orion. I guess I should just sit quietly and listen to everyone's conversations, and be careful to not act suspicious. Hey, Kayla, you seem rather quiet today. What's the matter? And here it goes. This is the end. Come to think of it, you're right. What's the matter? You stressed about something? I think she's always been rather quiet. However, I suppose if you say she's extra quiet, it's possible that she could be. Maybe she's nervous about the meeting. Are you? No, I feel fine. Is that so? You don't seem like your usual self to me. Maybe it's something she doesn't want to bring up to us. Don't push the subject. That's right. Forcing yourself on someone would be rude. Iki, that's not what I was going to do. Hey guys, the manager's here. Seems like everyone has gathered. That's really great. Morning, boss. Morning, Toma. Ah, so he's Toma. And that's the manager. Got it. I wish we'd take a roll call. Good morning, everyone. Today is our monthly assembly. Let's begin with last month's report. Sales have increased 9% compared to last month, most likely because of the summer break crowd. Continuing on, our rate of waste has gone down 1%, and the total price per customer has increased. This is excellent. The two from the kitchen, Kent and Shin. Our new menu items, the tiramisu and the seafood hot pot, have been very successful. This is a result of your continuous hard work. Tiramisu and seafood hot pot? What kind of foods does this cafe serve? Oh, before that, right, this guy's name is Shin. I gotta write this all down. And Iki, our waiter. There are many young female customers requesting your personal information to be released. What should we do? What do you mean, what should we do? Please keep that confidential. I apologize for causing trouble. It is true that the customers here to see you are rather loud and that they can be considered a negative. However, thanks to you, we're getting more customers as well. It makes the cafe look lively. Overall, I believe that there are more positives than negatives about this situation, so please be your usual self and continue working. Next is Toma. Your prompt service has received stellar reviews from the people of all ages. They are very consistent. Thank you. The other day when a child spilled his juice, I am told you were swift in producing a towel and cleaning up after him. And Mine, who was with you at the time, supposedly was very kind and understanding about it as well. Oh, uh, I wasn't. I heard you immediately provided a change of clothes for the child to wear so he wouldn't be uncomfortable. The customer to whom he had lent the clothes came by to return them yesterday. She even brought a little gift. Well, I have a little brother. He always gets his clothes dirty when we go out. So when I go out with my little brother, I always walk around with his extra clothes. I guess those clothes were left in my bag from the last time, so I figured I might as well. So you lent them to the child. The child's mother told me it was a lifesaver. It has been rather cold lately. If the child was still wet, he could have potentially caught a cold. You did something really nice, Mine. Please come over later to accept the gift and change the clothes. Recently, I've been gathering a lot of good reviews from customers. I believe this is all due to all of your sense of responsibility and hard work. I'd like to thank you all. Oh, he seems nice. The manager seems like a really good person. I mean, he's bringing up good points of each of the staff members and praising them. Under this kind of management, I'm sure it'd be fun working with him as... However, there was one mistake yesterday. 
Sawa, you must know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I heard you confused the Kilimanjaro coffee with the blended and served the wrong one. To top it off, you were off on the weight of the coffee beans per cup by one gram. One gram? I believe I told you that one cup needs roughly eight grams. However, the amount you poured in was 6.9 grams. What? 6.9 grams? How did he even know? Uh, um, I'm sorry. I, I guess I spaced out or something. We are at a cafe. That means the taste of our teas and coffee is our livelihood. If you ever make a similar mistake like that again, I will kill you. What? I'm sorry, what? This is getting intense. I will kill you? Uh, I, I, I'm so sorry. I don't want to die yet. I'll try harder. This is all for today's assembly. Today we will all work together, so determine your roles amongst yourselves and get to work. Ah, uh, he may not be as good of a person as I thought. Yeah, uh, I, I was so scared. I think that I took a few years off of my life. So, uh, I, I guess you're not too great with minor details. You've made similar mistakes in the past, haven't you? If she's not good with minor details, then maybe this isn't a job for her. The work itself is fun, it really is. But some people are just not meant for it. I think it's important to be able to evaluate your talents objectively. Now come on, don't be so tough. Gentlemen should be nice to girls. You're a little bit too nice to girls, EQ. The general public considers men like you dangerous, did you know that? N no that's not it at all. He's just a bit aloof or standoffish. Thanks for backing me up, Mine. But are you really backing me up? Well, if you're just nice to everyone, that means you're not particularly interested in anyone, right? That's more harmless than anything. But anyways, how should we divvy up the work? If you're afraid of messing up, Sawa, why don't you focus on cleaning outside instead of working inside? What? So you're kicking me out? No, it's probably easier that way. And if there's a cute girl outside, customers will walk in. So why don't you go out there along with Kayla? Well, what should we do? The attention's on you now. But rather than having to wait tables with all of those rules, it may be easier to clean outside. What do you think? Yep, sounds good to me. I know it's still work, but thanks guys. Just remember to take breaks every so often. All right, guys, break. Come on, no need to be so in charge of everything. Here you go, the broom. The trash bag can wait for now, I guess. But man, that meeting this morning was scary. Everyone's too perfect. Why can't they mess up a few times? For me, I can barely memorize what's in the manual. Manual? There's a manual? I wonder if everyone has their own copy. It'd be nice to have one. I mean, we don't know anything about this job. How should we ask? Um, where is it? Huh? What do you mean where? It's under the counter, remember? I don't think they changed its hiding place. Do you plan on rereading it? Maybe I should too. Yeah, let's copy it and take it home today. Copy! Ah, that's right. We should do that. Brr, today is really chilly. Are your parents up north? Was the job transfer for another three years? They moved right after you graduated high school, right? Job transfer? Ah, so that's why you're living alone. I was pretty sure only your dad would go. Your parents must be really close. Excuse me for intruding. Whoa! Oh yes, what is it? Oh, there was just one thing I forgot to mention during this morning assembly. Kayla, I've gotten word that your hardworking attitude is great. It mostly came from men. Mostly from men? There are a few people who ask for your personal information and the rare occasion of regulars talking you in the cafe, but... So, there really are. All of them were dealt with by the Meido no Hitsuji mail staff, so there's no need to worry, okay? Um, when the ones we need to worry about be the mail staff? Worst case scenario, I will personally. So, please continue working hard and serving our customers the way that you have. I wonder what that quiet part was. Oh, and Sawa? Yes? I've reprimanded you earlier, but I may have been too harsh. Your energy and strong customer service has also led to great feedback. Please continue your hard work. Oh, okay, thank you. Well, I'll be going back inside. Oh, before that. I'm sorry, but after you clean outside the cafe, do you think you can clean the kitchen? It seems like the water pipes are acting up, so they've been leaking out all over the floor. Thank you in advance. Wow, he scared me. I'm glad he came to sort of cheer me up, but I wonder why I can never hear his footsteps. I asked Shin before, and he said it's because he used to be an assassin for the government. I wonder if he was serious. An assassin? Oh, we have to hurry and clean. The kitchen is flooded. Let's hurry. Hey, I want to know more. Well, I guess it's pointless to ask. I hope it's a lie. If it's true, oh boy. <laughs> what a scary picture. Uh, today was all about cleaning, but because we were always busy, we were able to end the day without many troubles. And we were somehow able to figure out everyone's name. So the message you had on your phone was a message from your coworker. Then that means the only person that we still don't know is Rika. I wonder who she is. A friend from college, maybe? Judging by her name, it's definitely a girl. I wonder if we'll meet her someday. 
all the males in your contacts we met, but that nonsensical guy from yesterday wasn't in your contacts. We still don't know who he is, or what his name is. <sighs> oh well. It seems like your amnesia secret could be in good hands with your co-workers, but it still feels a little bit early. If you're close to everyone, it's actually harder to figure out whether you can trust him or not. You have work tomorrow, so we'll keep scoping things out for a while. Nice work today. <laughs> Apologies for the wet- ah! August 3rd. Morning. You're up early. Okay guys, this is a good place to stop. We've got a lot of background information built up, and I hope we can dive more into the story and figure out more about Ukyo next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!